through the very working of your spirit to give us your word. I pray that you would be the center of our worship this morning and you would be glorified and magnified in our midst. This is our prayer in Christ's name. Amen. Please remain standing as we will read our scripture. Good morning, everyone. Our scripture reading is found in James 5, 30, chapter 5, verses 13 to 20. Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing. Let him sing praise. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. All together, Therefore, confess your sins to the one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. Elijah was a man with a nature like ours, and he prayed for Bentley that it might not rain. And for three years and six months, it did not rain on the earth. Then he prayed again, and heaven gave rain, and the earth bore its fruit. My brothers, if anyone among you wants this truth, and someone brings him back, let him know that whoever brings back a sinner from his wandering will save his soul from death and will cover a multitude of sins. You may now be seated. Let us sing our next song, Constantly Abiding. Oh, 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 oh,
this morning. Uh, this is the summer church, uh, official, uh, because many of us um, went home for vacation and spending time with family. And because of that, we still want to welcome uh, each one of you, uh, both who are here in our building and also worshiping with us online. So shall we stand up and let us greet one another. Let us welcome warmly each other this morning. Okay, for our announcements, we'd like to thank uh, the family of Pastor Reniel and Christine uh, yesterday for cleaning our building and also for offering our flowers. We'd also like to thank our sponsors for our buffet lunch. Wow, Mabayad sa amin yung bill karon sa panyaga kung ano mo niya akong mga pilihan. Is there... Uh, uh, also, please pray for our activity this coming week, uh, especially this coming Saturday. We'll have uh, an English day out. I think uh, it's, not a, it's not a camp per se, but it's an activity that we'll do with our children's ministry. Ngayon nga eskwila, upon sa kaypinap, we will have this activity at Dubua Cafe um, in Nakon Patong. It's about an hour drive from here, so please pray for safety. Please pray for a cooler weather, or if not, for cooler heads. Um, and also for safety and God's blessings, as in activities, as in um, Five children are confirmed to go, and I think there are some uh, uh, two parents who are going with that. So please pray that God will bless this activity And next Sunday, our speaker is on his way. But um, since it's the fifth Sunday, it's supposed to be si Nung Joven Mawali sa English, kag si John Ray Mawali sa Thai. So please pray um, sa pagwali man ni John Ray next week sa Thai. Kung makatabokin mo sa immigration, kung ano man please pray sa aton nga service next Sunday. It's a regular Sunday para sa aton on the fifth Sunday. And we are only um, after church activity is D groups, both this Sunday and the next. Wala ang tanay mga training, wala ang tanay Sunday school, summer break tanay sa mong. Um, also, uh, please do pray. It's next Monday, uh, May 1st, and hasta sa May 4th, uh, will be the Romprakun Animal Camp sa uh, um, Baptist Conference nga campsite sa Chomti and sa Pataya. Uh, our, our speaker for that camp is a Chan Song Chit and a Chan Pairat. And our theme is uh, the Christian and fellowship, kag um, Christian and government. So please pray nga uh, kami yung zinginong ina camp for all the campers all over Thailand will go and for the camp to be a blessing sa mga kalato. And so um, these are coming uh, uh, activities this month and so also uh, do not forget uh, to uh, we can give our offerings in three different ways you can send it uh, directly to our church account uh, through online banking or um, you can drop by our offering bags here and even you can scan our QR code here sa Tubang and you can also do that as well as we continue to support the ministries of our church as I'm told uh, as of the moment, we have 23,000 in our account, and that only um, would uh, cover our uh, um, our rent. And kung makover ang rent, magbuhin ang gamay ako sila, basta hindi na tadi magpahalin sa balay. Ang kuring tiguro after three months, kung matanak ako dan. And so, uh, let's continue to support our uh, church ministries here also by giving our offerings. And I think mulang na ato mga pahibalo sa mga aga. Shall we all stand as we sing our next song? God is faithful and has let us meditate through the words of the song and let this song prepare us as we listen to God's word. Shall we all stand?
Please open your Bible in the book of Genesis. We're going to continue our study in the book of Genesis in the life of Isaac. Genesis chapter 26, we're going to continue the second half of this chapter. We're going to start from verse 18 down to verse 35. But we're going to read from verse 16 to 19. Genesis chapter 26 from verse 16 to 19 And Abimelech said to Isaac go I will go away from us for you are much mightier than we So Isaac departed from there and encamped in the valley of Gerar and settled there and Isaac dug again Again, the wells of water that had been dug in the days of Abraham, his father, which the Philistines had stopped after the death of Abraham, and he gave them the names that his fathers had given them. But when Isaac's servant dug in the valley and found there a well of spring water, let us pray. Our Father in heaven, this is your word, and we beg now your spirit's enlightenment work in our hearts not only that we might understand it but that we might see the truth for our lives in 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 our times judge us we pray by your word and encourage us all uh, guide us lord and fill us with your Holy spirit this is our prayer in just name amen over and over again in these chapters we see the 
theme or the character of God uh, in, in, in this chapter. No? God's faithfulness to a promise and to his covenant and uh, uh, which he had established with Abraham and that faithfulness being continued to the next generation. And that is an immensely important message and it's one that we take for granted and we, we, we take it for granted because of the thoroughness with, with which God applied his faithfulness to the covenant. Genesis chapter 26 uh, especially confirms the reality of God's continuing the promises that were first given to Abraham and to the next generation in the life of Isaac. And this great passage continues the main part of the story ni, ni Isaac and we see Isaac sa sininga ng context both a uh, blessing from God and contentions with his neighbors. No? Even as God blesses him, his neighbors are jealous. No? So, so first part sa sining mga verses sa so chapter 26, makita natin nga gin bless sang Ginoo si si Isaac. No? Pila ka pilo ang blessing sang Ginoo sa iya. Even though during that time it's famine. No, but still, God blessed Isaac no, with so much blessing. That's why he creates some jealousy sa sining ng mga ng mga neighbors ni, ni, ni Isaac. Even as he experiences what are clearly token of God's covenant's favor toward him, and he is uh, simultaneously experiencing the trials of his life and the contentions with this with this world. No? And I'd like to propose to you that Isaac's living in this passage provides a wonderful pattern and modern of Christian living in a world which is opposed to the, the Lord Jesus Christ. And let's look at the three or four parts that we see here in this passage today. So first, makita natin dira in verses 18 to 22 that Isaac struggles with the people of the land. Huh? First, in these verses, we see Isaac struggles with the people of the land. And at the same time, we see God's eventual blessing on him in the midst of those, of those contentions. And I believe that we are reminded as we look sa sininga passage that we ought to aim to live at peace and await God's vindication. No? So even Isaac aim to live at peace with his neighbors and awaits God invitation uh, or, or vindication in the Philistines we are told by the way we're already seeing this kind of pattern here in verse 18 kita na nato na sa my verse 15 and the following in this passage but it continues sa sininga nga nga verse sa my verse 18 uh, and we have seen that the Philistines came, they stopped up the wells of Abraham. Uh, and this is clearly in violation of the covenant which they had made sa kay, sa kay Abraham. Uh, ano nga klasik covenant? A covenant of friendship. Di ba? And Isaac very quietly uh, redigs this, these wells and names them by their old names. No? And this is not only uh, a sign of respect sa kay Abraham, but it's a message to the Philistines that even though they have forgotten no, sang ilang obligation in the covenant to kay, sa, sa, sa kay Abraham, but si Isaac diri has not forgotten their obligation in the covenant sa iyang nga amay nga si Abraham. No? Maybe nalipat sila or basi nagpalipat-lipat lang. No? But si Isaac dire, wala gyud siya na lipat sang ilang obligation sa ano, sa covenant of friendship between Abimelech, no, kag sakay, sakay sa iyang amay nga si Abraham. And so, he he very gently makes a statement that they are violating the promises that they made sa iyang nga, nga amay. No? And then we're told in verse 19 and 21 that Isaac went on to dig new 
no? bago nga bubon diri but he meets resistance no? from the earth's man in Gerar in verses 20 and, and 21 and again we see Isaac not pressing his rights no? Isaac doesn't doesn't stand on what he could have di ba pwede lang man ang balo ni 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 ni, ni Isaac diri ha huh? nga hey, hey hello okay oh you're in violation of the covenant with my my father Abraham di ba pwede niya na hambalon pwede niya himuon and mga sila siya, i'm going to bring my my man over and we're we're going to attack you just like Abraham my father Abraham attacked the king so kidnap no sa kay kay Lot no pwede na himuon ni ni ni, ni Isaac no pwede niya hambalon sila nga hey basi talipat ka mo no may kasunduan ka mo hey pwede ko ka mo no? pwede ko i-gather ang akon nga mga no and we're going to attack you the same no na pag-attack sang akon nga amay sa mga kings to rescue sa kay Lot pero Isaac doesn't not, does not stand and press his right here. Di ba? So I, that's why in verse 19, ang balnya dira sa so verse 19. But when Isaac's servants dug in the valley and found there a, a well of springs, water, no? Found a well of running water. No, it seems that Isaac no, even found something that Abraham didn't. Di ba? Ngaman kay si Isaac found the best kind of well, no? Huh? One of uh, one of running water, no? Unang hambanya dira. And this was the best kind of provision and it came to Isaac as he received the provision once enjoyed by his father Abraham. No? Huh? Kung manotis na aton dire, no? Huh? Why all the talk of well digging? No? Huh? Pagsubong pa, wad ang tatubi. <laughs> no? Guru, maridig ta guru, liwat nung, no? <laughs> no? It should be remembered, no? That there was a famine in the land of Canaan. Di ba? Most likely due to a lack of of rain, no? Having a source of water in Canaan was essential to survive in and the land and here is a clear sign no claro nga sign sang Ginoo no ang blessing sang Ginoo para sa kay Isaac di ba he provided water for him in a dry and thirsty land no and Isaac was blessed of the Lord and the provision of water was a clear sign of this blessing di ba good lay magiho kung wala tubi di ba pila ka percent no sang aton body nga kinanglan sang tubi ha 90 i don't know but i think more water no it's very essential ha and spiritually speaking no our sojourning is not physical right but spiritual no and so kita man thirst ang aton nga kauhaw is not physical but spiritual ba those blessed in the lord are those who have faith in christ and what those christ say no ano ang balni christ jesus i am the bread of life and whoever comes to me shall not hunger and whoever believes in me shall never never thirst john chapter 6 verse 35 And if anyone thirst let him come to me and drink and whoever believes in me as the scripture has said out of his heart will flow rivers no, of living water and then gin so punya pagi dira sa my verse 20 there is man of gerar quarreled with isaac herdsman saying the water is ours so he called the name of the well esek because they contented with him he called the name of the well Essek no 
the first well was named contention because it made others jealous. Huh? It seems that though Isaac called these wells by the name, Abraham had preciously given no? ang ining ang ngalan, no? and he also named them in light of his present circumstances. No? Ang ikadua dira, ara sa my verse 21, no? he called its name Sitna. No? The second well was named Opposition no? for the same reason. No? And in verse 22, he called its name Rehoboth. No? The third well was named Rumines no? because it was far enough to not be a problem. And Isaac saw this as a testimony to God's faithfulness and blessing. Now the Lord has made room for us and we shall be fruitful in, in the land. And Isaac saw these wells as they write, no? Kung diin gidni no? No, wisto. No, the blessing of God, he saw them more as God's gracious blessing than the results ang iyang hard work. No? Kung nagina consider ni, 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 ni Isaac, ng blessing sang ginoo, no? Than the results ang iyang hard work. And finally, we are told in verse 22 that he moves even farther away from the earth man of Gerar. No? And he finally finds peace. Very interestingly, that Isaac credits his peace to the Lord's providence. No? This is a glimpse into the pitiest of, of, of Isaac. And Isaac uh, Isaac himself had taken steps to keep from being in a contentious relationship with his with his neighbors and he could have said that well diba makahambal siya finally ang iya nga plano nag work diba kay ti nag palayo layo siya mo wala siya nag fight back ah o kung mambal sa I was so kind to these people and not pressing my rights and finally Diba? I got what I deserve. No? A little peace. No? But that's not Isaac's response here. No? Kita natin, hindi amun ang response ni Isaac. Isaac's response is that the Lord has granted them peace. No? Hambal niya dira sa my, sa my verse 22. No? The Lord has made room for us and we will be fruitful in the land. No? And Matthew Henry says, those that follow peace, no? sooner or later shall find peace. And those that study to be quite seldom fail of being so. And he goes to say, on to say that when a man's way are pleasing to the Lord, even his enemy shall be at peace with, with him. And Isaac aimed to be pleasing to the Lord. He aimed to be at peace with his enemies. And in God's good providence, and God granted that to him for, for a time. And we see this same pattern, of course, sa, sa kabuhi ni Apostle Paul. No? Paul was a Roman citizen. No? And there are many occasions on which Paul could have press his rights and have avoided sang mga mistreatment and even severe nga pag no hanot sa iya mga beatings at the hands sang Roman governors no but if you did study in the book of acts look at how paul will use his roman citizenship if he's invoking the right of being a roman citizen is merely in an instance to save his own pain and suffering Paul will never invoke that, that, that right. Yeah? But if there is a gospel issue at stake, no? if there is a kingdom issue at stake, Paul will invoke the rights of his Roman citizenship. Tanaw na ng iyang missionary journey. No? Interestingly, when he will invoke his right as a Roman citizen and when he he will not. And Paul has a kingdom agenda. 
and also Isaac here presses a kingdom agenda on his on his own and not not his own agenda huh? and Paul himself would say in Romans chapter 12 verse 18 huh? if possible huh? if possible so far as it depends on you be at peace with all be at peace to all men and Isaac is the poster child for the no sa sining verse if possible so far as it depends on you be at peace with all men no? there are times that we don't need to argue with other people to prove diba that we are right Kukisa do nami magbais kay feeling ta insakto kita. Di ba? Do ka nami gid baison to prove nga ako yang insakto hindi ka. Di what do you think siya? Mapapirdi ay han. Di ba? There are times that we don't need to argue with other people. No? To prove that we are right. Ano na kung kaysa nga kung mag do ma abot na sa punto nga mag argue na kami ganin sang ako na sawa ga ambal hipos na bala <laughs> Para mahipos naman ko oh. Hipos na bala oh. Proti ako gali sagi pa wakal eh No You don't need to argue with other people no to prove nga kita ang insakto Matthew Henry again says that religion teaches us to be neighborly. Religion teaches us to be neighborly and as much as in us lies you know, to live peaceably you know, with all men. You know? Many of the commentators are critical of Isaiah sa sininga passage. Come on. Yung describe nila si Isaiah as passive. No? But his passivity in this section is courageousness passivity. No? And this passivity was the kingdom objective. Nga man, because Isaac knew that it was his job to be a blessing to the nations. No? And so, in so far as it depends on him, he is doing as much as he can to live no? in peace with men while recognizing that only the Lord, Lord God can give you peace no? with your enemies. No? And that's a beautiful combination to see sa kay Isaac. And even though he's not a, a, a trailblazer, he's not a pioneer like his father Abraham, We have to appreciate a man who takes his this kind of a difficult stand in the circumstances in which no he found himself. No? That's why we ought to aim to live at peace and await God's vindication. No? Next day. In verses 23 to 25, no? God reiterates His covenant promise sa kay Isaac. Kung una ito, nag-struggle siya sa iyang mga neighbors, diri, God reiterates His covenant promise sa kay Isaac. Hambal dira sa my verse 23. From there, He went up to Beersheba. No? Then He went up from there to Beersheba. Ginggamit sang Ginoo the conflicts to lead Isaac back sa then Beersheba. Kung diin si Abraham had been before, no? Nga man because God repeatedly demonstrated his faithfulness sa kay sa kay Isaac, no? And he knew that he could be blessed and fruitful, no? Wherever God led him. That's why ang balita, we shall be fruitful, no? in the land 
Then in verses 23 to 25, we see another thing here. No? We see God reiterates His covenant promises sa kay, sa kay Isaac. No? How many times this was? No? In the midst of these struggles with his neighbors, God comes to him again in a second time. Kag ano gini mo sang ginoo? Gin sulit liwat sang ginoo, re re emphasizes, gin re emphasize sang ginoo and recommits himself to the covenant promises that he had repeated to Isaac in the first part sang sang Genesis chapter 26 which were themselves a mirror to the promises that he had made sa kay Abraham many, many years earlier. No? Ginsulit niya, gin, gin, re-emphasize niya pagin, and he recommits no? himself to that covenant promises. No? And again, kita ta sa sinigang verses that we, in the midst of their trials, ought to trust in the promises sang, sang ginoo. No? Diba? Isn't it interesting what God brings to the forefront of no, Isaac's mind when he is in the midst of trials? No? He, he brings his promises. No? Sa tiyon nga, nga, nga ara si, 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 si Isaac, no? sa tiyon sang, 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 sang unfavorable circumstances, no? Anong inbutang sang ginoo sa, sa, sa mind ni Isaac? No? Ang iya nga, promises. And he says, Isaac, I want you to steadfastly focus sang imo nga heart on my promises in the place where you are now. No? And if you will do that, sang ginoo, you will receive comfort. No? You will receive comfort. Sabi no? Nga imbes mag-focus siya sa mga, sa mga struggle sa palibot niya, sa mga tao nga nag attack sa iya, ano ang ginbutang sang ginoo sa iya nga mind? No? Promisa sang ginoo. No? I want you to steadfastly focus your heart, your heart, your mind on my promises in the place where you are now. And ang basang ginoo, if you do that, you will receive comfort. God appears to Isaac in the in the wake of his struggles in verse 24. And the Lord appeared to him in the same night and Isaac's father Abraham had many personal appearances of the Lord and this seems to be the first such experience para sa kay, sa kay Isaac and he speaks to him a second time for the purpose of reassuring no, Isaac and God loves to reassure his his people no amo na gali nga di ka hindi ta matingala nga ang sige sulit-sulit sang Ginoo ang iya nga promise kag iya nga covenant di ba the same lang man ang gin promise niya do kapila niya na naginambal sa kay sa kay sa kay Isaac bisan sa kay Abraham no ang purpose sa sina is to reassure no to reassure hindi mahambal nga ano ning Ginoo man uli anon no do amo na sa aton no? Oh, oh, oh. pa ulit-ulit no yung kisa daw ka kita bala kung nambalang ka permi daw katalakan ano no kisa daw wala ka na ya da yun gano mamati e, kapila muna ako nahambalan no ano abi mo sa akong wag pamati no mamama mo na bala rason no pero dire makita natin yung permi ni ginasulit sang ginoo bisan sa kay Abraham kapila niya nasulito ng mga promesa niya ang iyang nga covenant no sa kay Isaac the same no the purpose of that is to reassure. No? And God loves to reassure His people of His promises and His covenant. And that's exactly what He's doing here in Genesis chapter 26, verses 24 and the following. God reiterates His covenant promises and, his, and this again is a reminder that the covenant itself serves the cause of assurance and God wants his people to be assured of his blessings and benefits huh? and therefore he enters into covenant with them so that we will be assured certainly of the promises and look very 
briefly at what God says to Isaac in this in this passage in verse 24, no? Sa last part dira sa verse 24 ha imbalya dira, I am the God of your father Abraham. Notice how God shows his closeness to his people by taking the name. Di ba? Sa 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 marital relationship we show the closeness of the bride to her husband as she takes his name. Huh? And God, to show his closeness to his people, he takes our, our name. It is not only that we are named after him. Huh? And so Jacob's name will be changed to Israel. Diba? And it is that God himself takes on our name. And here, he calls himself the God of your father, Abraham. Huh? <laughs> Don't underestimate the preciousness of that gift from God. Diba? He takes your name. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel. And that means He is your and my God. Your God and my God. He is the God who takes your name. No? Secondly, look, He says to Isaac, no? Do not fear, for I am with you no? sa, sa amuna nga atmosphere of greatest contention between sa kay Isaac Erzman and the Philistine Erzman no? may ara gid nga rason si Isaac para ma, mahadlok di ba but here God told Isaac to put any such fears away no? kung nang inambal niya do not fear for I am I am with you no Notice that the presence and favor of God cures our fear of everything else. Huh? Fear, huh? fear God and you have no need of fearing men. Huh? Fear God and what can be against you. Huh? If God is for you, who can be against? Against you or against us. And so it is the very presence and favor of God which cures our, our fears. And he reminds this to Isaac in the time of, of trials. No? Look again. He says, I will bless you. No? After niya nga hambalan si, si Isaac, nga hindi ka maghadlok. No? And then and the next example, yeah, I will bless you. He's saying that his continued covenant favor is a confirmed reality. Uh, I will favor you. I will bless you. I will shower my benefits on you. No, amo na yung dina ang gusto ng ihambal sa ginoo sa kay Isaac. No, I will favor you. I will bless you. I will shower my benefits no? on you. And he goes on to specify those benefits. No? Ano hamba niya dira sa sunod yung mga verses? I will multiply your descendants. He says specifically that he is saying that he is going to increase of Isaac's descendants. That is, no, of course, ni si sa, no, necessary to fulfill the continuation sang 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 covenant. If there are no descendants, di ba? The covenant cannot be continued to the next generation and to, to the next. No? And so God is saying, I'm going to fulfill the condition which are necessary for my covenants of grace to continue on. And then finally, he says, interestingly, I'm going to you, uh, I'm going to, you to do this. No? For the sake of my servant Abraham. No? Hamalindra, for my servant Abraham's sake. No? God kept his commandment, uh, his, his covenant with Isaac for Abraham's sake. No? And after the same pattern, God keeps his covenant with us for, you know, Sai Jesus Christ. No? God keeps his covenant with us. For Jesus Christ, and this is not a picture of 
Is this not a picture of the grace of God dealing with, with Isaac? And Isaac is going to be dealt with according to the favor of God. Man, because of God's relationship sa iyang amay nga si, si Abraham. And Isaac has nothing that he can claim that evoked this blessing from God. And he was born into the household of Abraham and it was because of Abraham that God would continue his blessing upon the next generation. And God is Isaac's God by grace. Di ba? Ginoo sa ginoo siya ni, 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 ni Isaac by grace. Yeah? Isaac has, has, has embraced it. But God says, I'm doing this. Ginahimu ko ni because huh? of your father Abraham. Because of my servant Abraham in order to stress no? to stress to Isaac that he doesn't deserve any of this covenant blessing. No? They are his by God's unmerited favor no? because of your father. And then in response to this, no? kita ta sa my verse 25. No? Anong ginimodra ni, ni Isaac sa my verse 25? So he built an altar there and called upon the name of the Lord and pitched his tent there and there Isaac's servants dug a well. No? And then in response to this, kita ta sa my verse 25 that Isaac worships in gratitude of God's favor and out of gratitude for God's favor. No? He's responding to God's favor as he worships. No? Kung sa my verse 25, that, so he built an altar there and pitched his tent there, dug a well. No? And Isaac walked in the same path sang iyang amay nga si Abraham. No? Altars. No? Di ba? Permanigi na mention, altars, tent. No? That are the marks of Abraham's life. Di ba? Demonstrating a life of worship and trust. And Isaac lived that. No? In kabuhi ni Isaac, calling on the name of the Lord and enjoy the additional blessing of another well. Di ba? Kumbala sa may last, sang, last part sang, sang verse 25. Ha? After nag-worship, ha? sa ginoo, ano ginihimo sang iyang servant? Ha? Nagkutkut sang another nga, nga bubon. Ha? Ang baldra ni Derek. Ha? The altar built by the patriarch were a response rather than an initiative. For the most part, they gratefully record God's coming and speaking to his servant. No? Kung tanawo natin bala ang pagan religion, no? Nga the way sila mag-worship, no? What is normally happening in that worship worship practices sa mga pagan religion is that no, ang ritual nila sa pagsimba are designed to manipulate the God of pagan worshiper into blessing them. Di ba? Kung baga, simbaho nila ang ilang uh, pagan God para i-bless sila. Ha? Huh? Amo na ang ilang uh, nga, nga purpose why they worship their god. No? So that their gods would bless them a lot of blessing. Di ba? Kaysa mo na ang mindset sang isang iban nga tawo. No? They're going to the church so that God will bless them. Di ba? Ako sa una gasimba ko kung birthday ko para i-bless ko sang Ginoo. Pero wala man. No? kinang lang ko pa mag-obra sa uma para <laughs> makakwarta. <laughs> Di ba? Ang unang mindset ng tao, masimba ka sa church para i-bless sa ginoo. No? Guro mo nang, no? 
damo ka kadto sa temple no tapos kadto na yon sa lottery shop amo ni ang mindset sa mga pagan religion no kay hindi ta na makita sa pattern sa, sa Genesis sa so Genesis, God comes to His people and God speaks to His people and God blesses His people and then His people set up an altar. Di ba? Not to manipulate Him into blessing them. No? Ano yung ginaubras ang, no, ang pattern sa Genesis? No? Gabilt sila sa altar to ano? to say thank you, to worship sang no? blessing sang ginoo sa ila, not to manipulate God no? para i-bless sila, no? but to praise Him and thank Him and express their gratitude for the blessing that He's already given to them by, by grace. No? Totally different from pagan religion. Diba? And that's exactly what we see here. God comes graciously to Isaac in his time of need, and then Isaac sets up an altar, not to try and manipulate God into blessing him, but to thank God for the blessing that he's already received. Now in this passage, we see illustrated what we do in worship Sunday after Sunday. Di ba? nga agali nga nagasugod kita sa ato nyo worship with a scriptural call to worship no wala lang para part lang sang atong program na the purpose of that is to remind us who our god is and what he has done to us so that the rest of worship is what a response no a response to that it's not worship god so that you can manipulate him into giving you what you want no look at what god has given you diba given us damo na no now in 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 light of that you come and worship god diba and you pour out your hearts in praise to him the divine pattern of worship is that god initiate in his bestowal of favor and we respond in our expressions of gratitude and god supplies us his word and his promise to strengthen us in times of trials and difficulties and that's what we see here in genesis chapter 26 verses 23 through 25 and then we give back to him worship out of of, of our gratitude and thankfulness for the promise that he has given to us Kagini, this both shows us the centrality of God's word and His promises in, in worship. No? And it shows the, the initiative of His grace in worship. No? Ang ato nyo worship is but a response to His blessing, blessing to us. No? By the way, encouraging Isaac in strengthening Isaac's faith, we said, no? Kagina, that God gave him a promise. Di ba? In Tagansa sang promise. And he gave him a word. And this is a design to strengthen Isaac's confidence uh, in the certainty of God's future benefits. And that's very important. No? Gra- tama na importante. Even though Isaac could have looked around and said, Well, no, you know, God has blessed me with, with peace. And it's more important that Isaac concentrate on God's word of promise to, to him. Oh. Kung si Ambal ni John Calvin, oh. one word of God waits more with the faithful than the accumulated mass of all good things. Oh. See? Even though you can look around and say, yes, God has favored me in ways that I do not deserve. Huh? That can never measure up to the assurance which is drawn no? from what? From God's word. When you see that word and you say, 
Di ba? Yes, Lord, that is your promise to your servant. Ano ang promise mo sa iyo, mga servant? There is nothing more encouraging even when we look around and see God's blessing sa ato niya kabuhi. The Lord appeared to Isaac in this passage and he reiterated the covenant that he had made sa kay Abraham and Isaac responded by building an altar and worship God. And that altar is a significant sign post of Isaac's thanksgiving sa Ginoo for his revelation and for his providential care. So, yeah. And so, we Christian to in the midst of our trials ought to trust in God's promises and He is delivers us. No? And we ought to respond in thanksgiving. And that's why thanksgiving is such an important but so often neglected you know, part sang pangamuyo. So Christians in the midst of their trials ought to trust no, in the promises of, of God. And next, in verses 26 to 31, Isaac covenant with Abimelech. Then, we look together at verses 26 through 31. Kita ta dirid ang ining covenant which Isaac makes with King Abimelech, no, the, pag- the pagan king of the Philistines. And we again see God's surprising providence here. No? In verse 26 to 33, we learn that even the Philistines, no, as they are called in the passage, recognize that Isaac was was blessed. No, gin blessed sa ginoo. No, una nga si Abimelech dila, si Hazuzat, his advisor, and si Pichol, no, the commander of his army, came to Isaac and said, no, we see plainly that the Lord has been with you. So we said, let there be a sworn pact between us, between you and us, and let us make a covenant with, with you. Diba? Ginhimo mo nila niya kay Abraham, diba? Nga mo itong hambal ni Isaac nga, sinalipat ka mo sa covenant, no? Tanawang ta diri ang response ni, ni, ni Isaac sa sininga offer, no? Sang sininga king sang Philistines. Oh, verse 27, sininga dra- why have you come to me since you hate me and have sent me away from from you? No, amuna da yun ang pamangkot ni 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 Isaac, no, sa sini ng mga Philistines, no. Ang ang question diri ni Isaac was logical, no. He was pushed out of Gerar by the contention, no, of the herdsman of Gerar and he had a very reason to believe that he was not welcome sa sini nga lugar, di ba? And he went toward Beersheba. Oh, and then, padayon dira sa my verse 28, and we have certainly seen, seen that the Lord is with you. No, oh, amunay hambal ni Abimelech, eh, hatag sa sang iyang uh, surprising response no, sa pamangkot ni, ni, ni Isaac sa ila. And he and other could see that the covenant, uh, covenant God or Yahweh was with Isaac and had blessed Isaac. No? And he came to ask for peace and a blessing from Isaac. And this wonderfully blessed man, diba? because he knew that God was within him and that you are now, hambanya, the, the blessed of, of the Lord. Kita tadiri ang tremendous practical wisdom sa action ni Isaac. He didn't respond to evil with more evil. Diba? And he sought God's provision along the pattern of ancient way. No? Kita ta diri that even pagan apprehend God's favor toward his people. Even, even this pagan recognizes that God's blessing upon Isaac, si Abimelech, si, si uh, uh, Ahuza, and si Pichol come to Isaac and they seek a pledge. And they seek an oath, a sworn agreement which is going to be confirmed by a covenant and we learn something no, of the component of a secular covenant as we look at this passage together. Diba? And Isaac bluntly questioned them. No? I mean, they have already broken the covenant, diba? agreement that they have made sakay, sakay Abraham and they have already driven out of the land and suddenly as he, no, 
being blessed by God, they show up at the doorsteps wanting to enter in, into a sacred no? treaty or, or relationship. And so he's, he's very straightforward, no? si, 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 si Isaac, and he says, but you hate me, di ba? Yakig mo ka mo sa akin and you have run me off, di ba? Pagwa nyo ko sa, sa inyong lugar and what are you showing up for wanting a covenant? Di ba? And yet, this covenant was in bad need of being renewed. No? Ang covenant between Abraham and the Philistines had obviously been violated. No? And if Isaac was going to have any peace in the land, it was going to be to his best interest to be in a covenant relationship with with them. Diba? So in verse 28 through 31, the covenant is secured and the meal which was shared, the feast, was a way of cementing his, this, this, this contract. No? The oath stresses the sol- solemni- uh, solemnity of the transaction. Diba? But let me say the there's something else going sa, sa, sa sining, uh, nga, nga scenario. No? God in this chapter is confirming the fact that Isaac is now the covenant head. No? And in this story, he, he does it even by showing us that a pagan king understands God's covenant headship in, in Isaac. No? And Isaac is now the head of the covenant, covenant line. Pagang baldra sa isang author oh. It was important that Isaac be recognized and acknowledged by the nations and kings with whom Abraham had been called to mingle. Oh. And so God, in His mysterious and wise providence, often uses unbelievers to confirm oh, His special favor on His people and that, in turn, enables us to be loving in the midst of an unjust world. Diba? Interesting. Diba? God is confirming Isaac's place in the covenant even by an unbeliever. But at the same time, no? at the same time, at the same time, God is showing Isaac his his favor through his unbeliever so that Isaac will be able to be forgiving no? in the midst of the setting where he has been maltreated. Treated. If Isaac thinks that he lives in an unjust world and there is no recourse, no? it is going to be a very difficult for him to to forgive. Diba? Budlay siya mag, mag Patawad. And when he realizes that his God is able to control the hearts of even pagan kings, he's able to deal with his, with this, with, with him gently. Diba? Interesting, diba? Isaac's first word to Abimelech are harsh. Diba? Ano ka di? Ano ka mudi? Ngari ka mudi? No? But then, as he realizes that God has moved the heart of this pagan to come to him as it were on the bended knee, begging for a covenant, na realize din ni Isaac again by God uh, that his God is in, in control. He holds the heart of the king in his hand and he turns it whichever way he wants. And so he is able to show love and forgiveness toward an unjust world. No? Umbalni Matthew Henry. Those whom God blesses in favors have reason enough to forgive those who hate them, since the worst enemy they have can do them no real hurt. No? Do you realize that today? Do you realize that even pagans, by God's grace, apprehend God's favor toward His people? And that there is no real hurt that anyone, not your worst enemy, can do against you. Because your enemy's heart are in the hands of the mighty, the mighty God. 
So, ang pumangkot, when the world looks in upon our life, can they tell that we are blessed in Christ? Or can they see something distinguishing about, about us, the love, the joy, or the peace? Or do they see one who is thankful and content uh, so that we would walk with Christ in such a way that the world around us would take notice and come to us to us for a reason for the hope that is in in us bagani sang first peter oh si first peter but so first peter chapter 3 verse 15 but in your hearts honor christ the lord as holy always being prepared to make a difference to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you yet do it with gentleness and respect kung magtulok ang tao sa aton ano makita nila lastly in verse 32 to 35 no god's blessing on isaac so then we see in verses 32 through 35 that god's blessing on isaac through this whole course so we also saw the grief that 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 esau causes his his parents and again we learned that we ought not to be surprised uh, at the intensity of the pain of our trials no especially when those trials are family spiritual trials no? we ought not to be surprised even in the presence of god's blessing and we ought not to be surprised at the intensity of our trials especially when those trials are familial spiritual trials and ang ginodre ipakita sang iyang favor to isaac in this passage and as you look at verse 32 on the very day that the covenant is concluded with Abimelech Isaiah's men ano ginimo nila? dig a well ba? ang balyo sa may verse 32 we have found water huh? and Abraham was a man of altar and Jacob would be a man of tent di ba? and Isaac was a man of wells di ba? And he knew God's constant provision. He knew by experience. And God could, could provide in many different ways. Not just one. Diba? Ang una, ang, 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 ang forms ang ginoo sa pag-bless. No? Sakay, sakay Isaac. Maragani ang banyadra. So he called it Sheba. No? Ang... No. Ang mga ang tawag nila dira ang inaubon nga Sheba. No? There. No. Mga ang pangalan niya sang atong Bubun, no? like Isaac, after you have drunk of the waters of contentions and hatred, it will be brought to Rehuboth, no? where you shall have room, no? even to worship the well of the oath. Now, I don't know whether this is a brand new no? bago ini nga bubun or gin gin kut kut lani liwat. No? But we do not, we don't know where, no, kung di ini nakalocate ang ina ng 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 bubon. It was at Beersheba, where his father Abraham had dug the well, in the same place where Abraham had concluded the covenant that he had made with Abimelech, no, Abimelech's predecessor, and hundred years before. And God is showing His favor toward Isaac in the wake of His dealing with, sa kay King Abimelech, in discovery of His. No, sa sining bag nga bubon and the very significance of the origin no, sa sining uh, nga, nga, nga pangalan no, Bersheba remember the name had already been given no, to it by Abraham however long before it was that he had found no, sa sining bubon maybe that had 
happen no in the meantime no? or may begin gin pangalanan liwat sang sang mga Philistines and Isaac is coming back and he's reclaiming the title that name that Abraham had given it so long ago so when Isaac redigs this well and says this well is again going to be called the well of Sheba it, it's Beersheba no my father named this this well no? perhaps you notice that this passage ends rather abruptly and strangely in verse 34 and 35 no? with this little remark about sa kay Esau no tanaw unta bladder ang last ni mga verses no nga nag-abot naman no nga gin insert no ini nga nga story ni Esau no Isaac and Rebekah's oldest son no hambay nya when Esau was 40 years old he took Judith no the daughter of Berry the Hittite to be his wife and Basemath the daughter of Elon the Hittite and they made life bitter for Isaac and Rebecca and with that we are prepared no to consider the life of Esau and J- Jacob again in in the next chapter also chapter 27 no clearly the Lord favored Jacob the younger over Esau the elder no kasi Esau the rey married from amongst the Hittites no and bad marriages can make a real mess of of thing so at the same time no may ara nga grief in Isaac's family no nami natani ang storya no pero at the end sang sini nga nga chapter no naghatag no grief no sa kay Isaac ug Rebecca ang ilang isa ka anak no Esau's worldly marriages brings grief to Isaac and Rebecca he openly defies the principles which Abraham had followed in Genesis chapter 25 di ba Abraham didn't want Isaac to marry the women of of the pagan land, di ba? And he sent them back home to the relations to find sang iyang mga pangasawa. Pero makita natin diri si Esau goes right out and marries the daughter of the Hittites. Perhaps this is one reason he is referred no, sa Hebrews chapter 12, no? verse 16 that no one is sexually immoral or unholy like Esau no tawag sa dira sexually immoral no as an immoral and godless man he's not only a no polygamist but he's chosen to take no but he's chosen to take his wives those who are sworn enemies of his of his people the very people that God has already told sa kay Abraham So Genesis chapter 15 that the children of Israel would be one day yeah no sila i judge and here si Esau is mixing the line of Shem with the line of the Canaanites no and it was a grief para sa iyang uh, amay kag Eloy si Isaac kag si Rebekah even the wake of real uh, of of real and obvious blessing and in the company of true divine blessing no uh, there are trials for Isaac, no? and even in the wake of God's blessing in in this life, there are trials for for the saints. No? We are reminded that even when God is truly favorable toward us, that does not mean that there will be no trials. No, ano yung reality? You can imagine how these trials would 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 have impacted Isaac, diba? This isn't just a trial with one of his his urgemen, oh, or one of his men. Yaman, this is his son, and this is the son that he clearly loves, di ba? Plangga plangga ni siya ni ni Isaac, just like Abraham loved Ishmael, no, and he's breaking breaking his heart, no. Sakit para kay Isaac, di ba? And we ought not to be surprised huh? at the intensity of the pain of our trials, especially when those trials are family 
spiritual trials. So as we move to a conclusion, let us remember that the Lord is faithful. No? Ang faithfulness sa ginoo to keep His promises and His covenant. He was faithful to Abraham, to Isaac, and He will be faithful to us too. No? It is impossible for, for God to lie. And that is why it is right for us to flee to Him for refuge and to take strong encouragement in Him. And indeed, we have this as a sure and steadfast anchor of, of the soul. No? And let us put away all fear, therefore. First John, there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. No? Are you convinced that God loves you in, in, in Christ Jesus? Then there is no room for for fear sa atong kabuhi and let us walk by faith and not by by fear as Isaac did when he lied about his his wife and let us see clearly how very blessed we are in in Jesus Christ do you rejoice in this are you thankful and content are you joyful in and at peace huh is it it is only right for us to to be thankful and content and joyful and in peace no? and if we are indeed blessed no? we are indeed blessed in 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 Jesus Christ let us pray our lord and our god we cannot do justice to your word but we thank you for your faithfulness in showing us the truth we thank you lord for your real blessing and we thank you for the way you sustain us in trials we pray that we would draw strength from this word this this truth today we ask this in jesus name amen we thank the lord for his word so we all stand and let us sing our song of trust and may god's word this morning uh, reminds us that since god is faithful to all of his promise this is the kind of god that we can trust in good days and even when this hardest to trust him
Father, we thank you that in the struggles that we can face with this world, with our neighbors, who may be opposed to what you are doing in us and through us and all the struggles that we have in our family that gives us pain, we thank you that if you have proven yourself to be faithful to the covenant that you have made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we can trust that you're the same faithful God who will be faithful to all your promises to us to be fulfilled in Christ and through Christ and to be gained in Christ. So Lord, we thank you that we can trust you more and more with each day. We thank you that as you have given relief to Isaac and as you have provided for all his needs, we trust that you are the same God who can also provide relief and provision not only with our physical needs, but you have provided the living water and the ultimate relief in the person of your Son and in His work on the cross for us, Jesus Christ. And we thank you that you are the God who is faithful to your oath and because of that, in spite of our failures countless times, Lord, we can see the beauty of how faithful you are to us. And so, Lord, I pray that we can stand on that faithfulness and we will live trusting and knowing that you are the faithful God that we can count on each day of our lives. So teach us, move us to be faithful to you, O faithful God. So we thank you for the blessing of this worship this morning, the blessing that we can fellowship with one another, serve you and serve one another. And we can sing praises to your name and respond to you for how you have revealed yourself and how you have revealed your faithfulness to us. May this worship be our grateful response to you, O God, our sacrifice of praise, the fruit of our lips that is pleasing to your name. Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you blameless before the presence of his glory with great joy, to the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority before all time and now and forever. Amen. Sister.
Good morning, everyone. May God bless us all.